Okay, Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, yo yo ninja Muhammad with another tutorial, short, sweet tutorial. Uh, if you, have you ever wondered, can you use a gamepad with a free version of the Daemon PS2? There is, a, there is a way, but it's kind of, let's just say, uh, pricey because you need to buy a specific gamepad uh, company, uh, brand. For example, Flight Digi Apex 2 here, I'm having it. The premium gamepad, which honestly, if you have money to buy it, buy it immediately. This is the best gamepad in the world for PC, iOS, and Android. It's insane beast of the beast. And I'm using here free version. I'll show you what we need to do is you need to get yourself Flight DG uh, gamepad and Flight DG, Flight DG app. And you can assemble from here. You can map, uh, obviously, uh, different uh, actions to different. Uh, you can uh, obviously map the gamepad buttons to different actions over the virtual keys of the daemon. And I'll show you that right now. Uh, anyway, the buying links and download links will be in the description for these products. Enjoy! Playing with the gamepad. See myself. Amazing. <laughs> I'll also show you the screen for the gameplay for this game. Please make sure to be patient, stay around. Awesome! <laughs> Shadow of Rome over the 4K TV. <laughs> what the game plan man, playing black uh, game here with a free version, Damon PS, uh, PS2 4.0, playing it with a free version with the game pad. Stupid. It's so much easier to play it with the game pad, oh my god, 90% of these games are you very easy to play with the gamepad bro. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, so now we'll be showing you how we are playing these games with this gamepad guys. Uh, you need to install yourself an application which is called FlyDigi. Uh, we're gonna get exit right now everything quickly here. We're gonna go here to uh, Play Store. Okay, and this is the FlyDG app, guys. FlyDG Game Center app. This, just basically download yourself this app, open it, and from here, guys, you can access uh, you can access uh, different games. I mean, you can add every single game which you have. Uh, I repeat again, some games they do have on default gamepad support. Not so many games have a gamepad support. I mean, most of the games don't have a gamepad support. So that's why you need to have this kind of gamepad and the application itself. From here, obviously, you're gonna access and you're gonna pair it through this application via Bluetooth uh, application. And remember always to uh, upgrade your gamepad, your basically your gamepad software. It's already updated the latest for the Fly, Fly DG Apex 2, okay? So now, uh, if you want to add, you add the games from here. Simple, guys. Like see myself, I don't add the Ark. I'm not gonna add Assault 9. These games have a gamepad default support, okay? So now we're gonna go to the Fly DG, uh, to the, uh, of course, uh, Wild Drift. And from here, I'm gonna just move here. You can see myself, I'm playing it right now with the gamepad. Which is insane, a mobile game ninjas. I will also try to do this uh, test with the Mobile Legends, but with the Wild Drift, Wild Drift, it's working just fine. So, uh, how are you gonna assemble all of this, and where in the heck the buttons, how you do this? So on the top corner, or it's usually here on the right side, top right side, you have this Fly DG icon, guys. Tap this Fly DG icon, and from here you're gonna access uh, basically uh, the customization button so you go to edit you can uh, add uh, for every single game a different obviously profile and I would suggest you to do that if you are playing these games uh, frequently okay let me just exit sorry for that I'm gonna just exit here cancel 
Okay, they will kick me out, bloody them. So you're gonna go to edit and from here you can see by itself, you assemble uh, the actions of the gamepad to each action you want. So you can see by itself that most of the things I could add, but obviously some of the things are still missing. The map, these three options, option, mute, and microphone, you could do that. And also here, some alert uh, actions, you can add uh, these functions all together. Beautiful, isn't it? Seriously, it's beautiful. So it's simple, guys. So you just drag. Example, the arrows I use for the upgrades. The arrows I use for the upgrades. There you go. You can see by itself. So I use them. Just uh, the arrows I use for the upgrades. After you finish that, you just simply tap here, save, and that's it. That's it. Simple like that. After that, you just use the save. Remember to uh, obviously assemble uh, for each action one single button, but for some actions you can even uh, assemble the same button for two actions. Why? Because you can, example, uh, do this action and, example, open the map in the same time. Th that's not going to be any problem. That's gonna, not going to be any problem, example, okay? So yeah, that's it. That's a very short tutorial. I repeat again, if you want to hide these options or show them, if you want to see here, you have an option here to show the buttons. And you can see by yourself, the buttons are shown right now. For which action are they are they here yeah beautiful so now we're gonna again disable them show them back you can go here to back to the screen and you're gonna go again which is really good the game uh, the flight dg app doesn't close the game which is really good that's that's really good and always have in mind that uh, uh, have it always active in the background this is very important so it doesn't close your game that is very very important from here recommendation we have some applications blah 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 that is fine extensions you can see by stuff here these are the extensions the buttons on the back r1 r3 l3 select and menu all together you can also assemble all these buttons to the action which is again insane guys insane 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 anyway so that's it thank you for watching this video uh, this was the tutorial for the apex a very simple tutorial for these games which you see on my youtube channel these videos which i'm testing games android games that don't have a, a gamepad support on default you will have to get yourself buy yourself uh, apex 2 uh, and fly dg app if you want to have uh, the pro gaming experience beautiful by the way, I'm having here ROG5 with the uh, USB hub, HDMI USB hub, which has uh, three USB ports, Type-C USB port, it has LAN, uh, it has SD card expansion, and HDMI, in HDMI. Also, link for this product will be in the description. I will be leaving that, okay? Ventune, this is Ventune. You don't have to buy exactly this one, but I will leave the links in the description for these kind of USB adapters, HDMI adapters. Thank you for watching. Long video, I know, but I think you're going to be happy about this. Beautiful.